to face to face and today we're going to talk about Yemen we're going to talk I'm with Wiza Haq from uh, Action Corp so maybe we can do a start with uh, an introduction of your organization sure Action Corp grew out of the humanitarian organization Oxfam and we are a group of grassroots organizers. None of us currently are paid for the work that we're doing. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. And we champion justice for people most affected by climate disasters and violent conflict. And right now, we have been focusing on the humanitarian yeah. crisis in Yemen. How did you end up in mm -hmm. Yemen? Sure, because the United States has been propelling the world's largest humanitarian crisis in that, uh, that country. And I can speak a little bit about the humanitarian crisis as well as but the But can you the describe a little bit the conflict there sure. and then we give a sense of, of mm -hmm. what's happening? Sure. So there was a, the Houthis took power in parts of Yemen and there was an uprising and Saudi Arabia, the neighbor in, to Yemen, started bombing the country and blockading the country. And what we know is that the blockade has, along with the bombing, has created the largest humanitarian crisis on the planet. And that's been done with backing from the United States. This intervention in Yemen was announced from, not Riyadh, but from Washington, D.C. Wow. I'm not surprised, but yeah. And so, so how did you got involved in, in, in that action in some ways? So someone came to our group a couple of years ago and was talking about various food crises around the world. And when we learned about the role of the United States in creating a situation where right now 10 million people are just a step away from Come. famine and starvation, yeah. we thought we couldn't continue to be silent about this particular crisis, that the United States has a tremendous responsibility and opportunity to stop this war. Because, I mean, in my experience, that's always been the problem with humanitarian action, where we try to feed, but we are not talking about the political situation who create that issue at the first place. So it was like, we're going to do the humanitarian part, but we're not going to... Are you doing the political part also? We are, we are denouncing the situation uh, as a political level? That's been Action Corps' focus. Wow. We have been visiting our members of Congress. When they haven't let us in the door, we've rallied in front of their offices wow. until they let us in. And this fall, we, in a 10-day period, all as unpaid activists, we had face-to-face -face meetings with Senator Schumer himself, with the ranking member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, Senator Jack Reed in Rhode Island, and we had uh, Representative Elliot Engel from here in New York, who's the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. He came to a community meal we organized and spent a couple of hours with us and heard from you many Americans who've been directly affected by the U.S.-backed war in their country. So, so maybe that's a good link to, to what's, um, what's uh, the next action in, in Washington, D.C., and, and you can... Describe it. Sure. So you, may, you and viewers may have heard that in April, Congress passed a joint resolution. It was a bipartisan resolution that both the House and the Senate passed this bill, mandating the president to withdraw all unauthorized forces from Yemen. That means that it was, it was demanding that the president stop the U.S. backing for the Saudi United Arab Emirate war in Yemen. And what we saw is that the president vetoed that. Yeah. That resolution was historic. It was the first time since 1973 that Congress had invoked a bicameral joint resolution to stop an unauthorized, unconstitutional war. And so we think that it's important that the Democratic leadership of Congress stands up to President Trump and enacts the will of Congress and stops all U.S. participation in this war. And when I say U.S. participation, I mean the mm, targeting assistance, the technical assistance, the spare parts, the servicing of the fighter jets, as well as all of the arms sales that are being used against the many civilians. Because normally, for the U.S. to go to war, you need to have the back of the Congress. And, and from the last 10 or 20 years, usually the president skipped Congress and go declare war directly. 
Correct. We've so, seen president after president yeah, ignore Article exactly. One of the U.S. Yeah, Constitution. Exactly. And so, it's time to to stop that yeah, and to so, stand so up. So that's that's what you are targeting for. Correct. Yeah. And since we were unable to cause the effect that we wanted, the ultimate effect through the War Powers Resolution, we're looking to do that through the National Defense Authorization Act, which is the yearly. It's been passed for decades every year, to the, which authorizes military spending. And what we want to see in that is an end to U.S. involvement in the war. And what we've heard so far is that the Democratic leadership of Congress is not doing their job, that Senator Schumer, Speaker Pelosi, and the respective leaders of the Armed Services Committees from the Democrats so, are failing to stand up for the president. You are telling me then they have the number to stop the bill to pass. Correct. Chairman Adam Smith, the chairman yeah. of the Armed Services Committee okay. in the House of Representatives, has given excuses for why the United States should continue this illegal, immoral war. And he, just last week, he made a statement where he was giving these sorts of excuses, despite the fact that he introduced the amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act to stop, stop U.S. participation. But now what we, we see is this, this giving in and this flip-flopping. And so it's time for us as Americans, I believe, and Action Corps is promoting to stand up and to demand that our members of Congress vote against the National Defense Authorization Act if it fails to stop U.S. participation in the war in Yemen. What can we do? Well, what you can do is you can call 1-833-STOP-WAR, and that will connect you with your member of Congress. And what you can tell your member of Congress is that you want them to vote no on the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, unless it stops U.S. participation in the war in Yemen. Can we get more information on your website? Yes, and that's actioncore.org. Okay, mm -hmm. and do you have any, <coughs> sorry, any email or any uh, information mm -hmm. you want to? Sure, well, you can follow me at IE France, F-R-A-N-T-Z, on Twitter, mm -hmm. or the Action Corps, and it's spelled like the Peace Corps, the mm -hmm, Action mm -hmm, Corps. Mm -hmm. um, also, we have an account, and we'll give updates about the number to call and what to say. Okay. Anything else you want to, to or any information you want to share? Yes. The Americans, we have way more power than we realize. You know, uh, a couple of years ago, I was told that there was no way that the, that the leadership of Congress was going to support the War Powers Resolution invoking Article I of the U.S. Constitution to stand up to the president. And I, we saw very little interest. Speaker Pelosi had made no public Before. statements about this. Mm -hmm. she, um, she still hasn't made any public statements, to my knowledge, about the National Defense Authorization Act. And mm -hmm. we need to hold her accountable mm -hmm. because she, this, she's allowing for this war to continue on yep. her watch. Mm -hmm. And what we saw was that when we showed up in front of members of Congress's offices, people who had, I had been told they would never sign on to the War Powers Resolution. When we showed up with signs saying, hey, Rep Representative Engel, stop fueling famine in Yemen, or Rep Nadler, you know, co-sponsor this bill. They started to take us seriously. So I would say, and it wasn't that many people, it was a handful of persistent activists who continued to show up from a number of different organizations, including mine, Action Corps, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who said, we're not gonna allow this to happen on our watch. You know, this is not okay for this war to be prosecuted with our tax dollars in our name. And so what I'm calling on and what Action Corps is asking of all the people viewing this is to call that number, 1-833-STOP-WAR. As soon as you see this, you can, and if it's not during business hours, you can make a note to call as soon as Congress opens at 9 o'clock in the morning and tell your member of Congress and tell Speaker Pelosi that you want all U.S. participation in this war to stop. I don't want to trick you. Did you tr how did you reach out to the city or to the city itself, the city council, to support or to pass a resolution at the city level or you, the council members or the, at the state level? So this is a federal issue. Yeah. The power lies with the Democratic leadership of Congress. We know that the Republicans are just repeating what Trump wants, but we already saw both bodies of Congress, this Congress, this year, voted to stop all U.S. participation in this war. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of defending the Constitution mm -hmm. and acti enacting the will of Congress. Mm -hmm.
Congress is willing to do this. Yeah, we yeah. just need the leaders to yeah, lead to do their job. Yeah. So we could pass all the resolutions we want in city council or in the state. No, no, no. It's but too, the responsibility it's too, it's lies with absolutely. our members of Congress. It's too, and it's for them to, to hold the line and to vote no on the National Defense Authorization Act if it does not end all U.S. participation in the war in Yemen. It's that simple. Thank you so much. Anything else? That this is, a, this is an opportunity. This is a really important opportunity for, for us to stop the world's largest humanitarian crisis on the planet. You know, a lot of times we think about, oh, how could we save a life? You know, yeah. I work in a community health center, so we're yeah. thinking all the oh, yeah, time, yeah. how can we save some person's life? You know, if you, in the time that we've had this interview, a child in Yemen oh, yeah, has yeah. died no, no, of because course. of deliberate starvation no, back cold, by the U.S. The cold and then the, so, the, the, so if yeah, people yeah. call that number, yeah, yeah. 1-833-STOP-WAR, yeah. they can help make a difference. Zach, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, Dave. Thank you. That was your show Face to Face, and please keep watching your news on Presenza.com and share and uh, send the link to your friend and your family. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.